Hey everyone! In this video, we're going to walk you through the step by step process of assembling your Raspberry Shake 1D DIY kit. But before we dive in, there are three things you'll need to assemble your device. First, a pair of anti static gloves and an anti static bracelet. Second, a pair of Phillips screwdrivers, one standard and one fine point. And last but not least, a Raspberry Pi board which is not included with the DIY kit. Please note that when handling the Raspberry Pi and Raspberry Shake board, you must use ESD protection, including anti-static gloves, while wearing an anti-static wrist strap that is properly grounded, and while working on a wooden surface or ESD mat. Not doing so will likely result in the electronics getting damaged. With these things ready, let's get started! First thing we're going to do is install four metal standoffs into the acrylic panel, which is the bubble level on it. Next, take the Raspberry Pi board and ensure the holes align with the standoffs you have just installed. Before we fasten it down, insert the micro SD card that came with your DIY kit into the Raspberry Pi board. With the micro SD card installed, screw in the three longer standoffs in the upper corners and the lower right corner of your Raspberry Pi board. Then, screw in one of the small screws into the fourth corner with your standard Phillips screwdriver to secure the board in place. Now with your Geophone sensor and Raspberry Shake board in hand, insert the sensor cables into the holes in the Shake board as indicated here. Please make sure to insert the grey cable into the hole marked with the plus or positive sign and the blue cable into the hole marked with the minus or negative sign. To secure them in place, we'll need to use the fine point Phillips screwdriver. Once you've tightened the screws to connect the sensor cables to the board, insert the Raspberry Shake board onto the pins of the Raspberry Pi as indicated here. Let's place the geophone sensor next to the board between the two empty holes on our acrylic base and secure it in place with the curved acrylic piece. To fasten it down, use two of the large screws and then tighten them in place with your standard Phillips screwdriver. Make sure it's properly secured, and with that, our Raspberry Shake 1D is almost complete. Now it's time to build the rest of the enclosure by attaching the acrylic side panels. Put each panel in place, making sure to line up the holes with the corresponding ports. Once the four sides fit perfectly together, now it's time to attach the Raspberry Shake 1D lid. Make sure the three holes of the lid align perfectly with the three standoffs we installed earlier. Now, use three small screws to secure the lid in place. Congratulations, you have successfully built your very own Raspberry Shake 1D seismograph. To ensure your shake is completely level at the location you plan to put your device, you can install three leveling screws to use alongside the bubble level. Please note that you should have a few screws left over as spares. Now your shake is ready to plug in and connect to the internet. Thanks so much for watching this video and for purchasing your Raspberry Shake 1D DIY kit. Happy shaking and see you next time.